doing, baby girl? Yeah? Grandma's getting pictures of uh, the kids running up and down the trail here. Thank you. You okay, Bobby? Oh, you got Max right here, too. Yeah. What's it doing? Huh? What's Taking doing? pictures? Taking pictures? I know you're not getting out. <laughs> what does it matter? <laughs> it's okay. Here, look. Mama has something for you. You want something? Aiden, are you having fun? Yeah. And I found a trail. Oh, did you? That's yeah. a cool trail. Hi, Brecklin. Are you having fun? Yep. Here we are. Hatcher Pass Summit. Almost 4,000 feet above sea level. And it's cloudy today. And fairly busy. Not too bad. Aiden, Mark, why are you playing in the water and mud? Take his observer back. When is he not playing in the water and mud? Uh, this is true. Hey, Aiden, wait. Dad? Yeah, bud. What do do? What do do? <coughs> yeah, so that one just goes to the point there, and this one goes to a higher point over there. So this is, um, back around here is where we usually go, we go further down there to do the berry picking and that's where, when we've been up here, that's uh, where you, you guys have seen. Uh, this is actually at the Hatcher Pass and uh, there is the April Bowl Trail that goes up and you can see some people. Right up there coming down you can actually see some people right up there too so up there you've got uh, there's like a glacier fed lake and then it kind of berms around and then goes up to the Hatcher Peak I believe is what it is 
down. And that's where we've gotten some awesome pictures. In fact, the uh, banner for our channel here, if you go to our, the uh, main page for our channel, uh, that was taken from that peak uh, at the top of there, uh, facing the entire valley. You can actually hike all this ridge and everything. I've hiked from Hatcher Peak all the way uh, or April Bowl area or whatever. I've hiked up this and across the peaks all the way to uh, the next largest peak, which is uh, Government Peak, which is quite a ways over that way. But uh, yeah, um, this is kind of cool when it gets all cloudy. You can't see everything as much, but it, it kind of gives an eerie look. Uh, one of the reasons why I like it back here so much as well is uh, it kind of rem reminds you of the Lord of the Rings and everything. So, but yeah, one of our favorite places to come. It's pretty, uh, it's not as busy today as it usually has been. When we first moved up here, this wasn't as busy as it is now. It wasn't quite as well known, but this is one of the hot spots for people to come. <laughs> Jackie's trying to get pictures of the kids and everything. So, but yep, this will probably be closed down here in a few weeks. Um, you won't be able to get access up here. Um, well, I thought there was some snow up here, but I guess that was just the clouds. Um, it'll start snowing up here in a couple to few, couple to four weeks. And, uh, uh, once it starts snowing, they will shut the uh, uh, gates and you won't be able to get up here until probably uh, late June, early July of next year. So I've never actually been back here with the snow. You can snow machine and uh, uh, snowshoe up here, but uh, I have yet to uh, come up here uh, when it's covered in snow. Here's Summit Lake. I hear like a pond. I hear something. Oh, you hear something? What do you hear? I was saying, maybe thunder? Oh. Maybe thunder? No. Mm -hmm. Mom, it's like there's a picture down there too. Yeah. Wow. We're here at the tail race. The pretty green blue water. This cool little trail. Got these uh, old cars and trucks. I'm not exactly sure the story on this, um, but I know that these are like super old cars and trucks that have just been dumped out here. So. Yeah. They're just kind of off here to the side. Little, just kind of dumped and buried. They've been here for a long time because a lot of them are pretty buried. <coughs> but the all the leaves are changing. People are out here fishing. So you can see that water is so pretty this teal color and then this little trail is kind of cool but yeah here I'll show you super pretty so uh, you can fish um, during the seasons yeah, there's people fishing here that um, there's like trout and stuff in here but uh, the fishery the, the, the hatchery is a little ways down here <coughs> and um, anyway that's where they'll they'll hatch a lot of the salmon and then when the run is going on the salmon come back here to uh, there's the bridge. They come back here to lay their eggs. And uh, so 
This is a good spot to fish for king during the season. Um, and then reds and silvers come through as well. So, um, I fished here before. Never been successful here yet, but uh, it's been fun to fish. And then everyone's just kind of enjoying this little trail. This is a nice, beautiful trail because trail, you kind of have a little bit of a canopy going on. But this is one of Jackie's favorite places to come and take pictures. But uh, yeah, here is the uh, hatchery. We got this building here and then they've got things set up down along here. But they, uh, they've got the holding tanks over here and then they'll let the, the baby fish out and they will swim down this and catch the Nick River and they'll swim out to the ocean. And then when they get adults and are ready to lay their eggs, they come back here and lay their eggs uh, here in the Akutna River here. And uh, then they'll die. And so that's basically what happens. And so uh, when they're doing the hatchery, oh, there was a fish. <clears throat> when they're doing the hatchery, uh, Letting the fish go, they'll shut this down to fishing, of course, and uh, let the fish out. And uh, yeah, then they just swim out to the ocean. Uh, right now it's really foggy with the mountains up there. It's usually kind of foggy like this, but a little bit higher. And so you got the mountains up on the other side, and there's power plant over here, and you got this beautiful blue water. And uh, it's just very peaceful. I come back up here. And then I believe over here on the other side is one of the channels of the Nick River. And then like down at the very end of this trail, both of them merge together and uh, head out to the, the uh, arm, turning it on. Very beautiful, peaceful area. It can get very busy during the fishing season, the salmon fishing season especially. It gets really busy. But one of our other favorite spots, we have several, but uh, this is definitely a must see for visitors. Um, just to come down and see the, the uh, blue green water and to walk this little trail. It's just very peaceful. Mm -hmm.